Hello, this is the HatchetJob.com gaming netcast. Sorry, apologies about that. Trying to play the Neo beta. Nio? Neo? Which I believe is like Ninja Gaiden or Ninja Gaiden versus Dark Souls X. Capcom Y Konami? I don't know. I don't know what it is. The same intensity. Okay. I guess so. Now we've got the Kami Sal Dog. In fact, I was just screaming Tesla Grab and I said how much I like the idea of very difficult games like the Dark Souls series and Demon Souls series, but how I can't actually play them because I'm no good at difficult games. And uh, I get frustrated. I'm just not that kind of girl. is a training ground for samurai. It is filled with the blood, sweat, and tears of the encountered warriors who polish their techniques within its walls. These long traditions and secrets are handed down from generation to generation of samurai. But, oh. Where's, where's the settings button? Sister, audio settings. Turn everything right down. Down to about here. So you can hear me better. Oh. The objective is shown on the compass at the upper right of the screen. But there's also, I think this is an interesting game because there's an option to... Um... Change how it change whether you want better graphics or faster frame rate. But I don't know if that is a thing here. Status screen cursor position. Okay. Never mind. Upper right of the screen. A wooden sword take. You can equip. Okay. Uh, equipment. A low attack break. Oh my god, this looks too complicated. Chance to attack heart. Okay. Is this is this too quiet? Should I turn the sound up at Amrita Memories? You must equip the weapon and learn its skill for it to be of use. Always remember to check your equipment. Um. Okay. You may proceed to the next tutorial, which is reading. Quick attack, strong attack. The quick attack is fast and doesn't consume much ki, or chi, but only causes light damage. The strong attack is powerful, but consumes more ki and lowers your guard. If your ki reaches zero, you will not be able to attack until it recovers. Oh, we can play the move. That's cool. Okay. Oh! Where's my key? Oh, you said that top left hand corner. Bottom, bottom blade. Bottom bar. So I literally can't. Okay, so I can. I can move a little bit as it's refilling. I may proceed to the next tutorial. I'm gonna read. 
Lock on with R3. Oh god, you have to stick the bloody controller down and to press the joystick in. Switch target with R. When you lock onto an enemy, your camera stays focused on the target. Okay. I don't like the camera at all. That's not good camera. Guard L1 dodge X. Hold a second. L1? That's really annoying. That's bad. So you can't, you can't go from a guard into an attack directly, you have to let go of guard. So dodging takes key as well. Can you run in water? Yes, you can. Okay. Oh my god. Switch stance R1 triangle. High stance emphasizes attack power. It allows for powerful techniques. Mid is good for defense. It has a wide range of techniques and is easy to use. Low is good for dodging. how I'm feeling about this one so far. Low stance R1X. Oh. Okay. So he can sheath his sword, which is interesting. Okay. Okay. Where's the next tutorial? It's in here. Key pulse. While the blue lights gather around you after an attack, a key pulse restores your key. The amount va varies based on your timing. The maximum amount is determined by your key gauge. So is that like active reloading gears? Who's going to come out and attack me? Nobody? Why are they using this weird button system? This feels terribly Japanese and not necessarily. 
necessarily in a good way. Okay. Feels like we have a slightly broken demo in that there's nobody for me to fight. Oh. Ah. Ah, so yeah, okay. So it's like active reload, I think. So if I go So I get to just use up all my key and I get to bring it back. I don't understand the point of that at all. So if I go, let's see, I have no key left. Let's see how long it takes to recover. It takes a while. I don't understand the point of that. Yokai Realm, another world born from the Yokai. When you're in the Yokai Realm, your key recovery speed is greatly reduced. Conversely, the powers of the Yokai themselves are enhanced there. Purify recovers the maximum amount of key from a successful key pass in the Yokai Realm. It also cleanses the defilement of the Yokai Realm from your person, restoring you to normal. Then I this this is incomprehensible. This is this is incomprehensible. This makes no sense to me. What the fuck is the yokai realm? Yeah. Okay. I've downloaded your. I mean, if it, if it said the game will make more sense in retail. Main mission, Isle of Demons. 1600, the seafaring age. After many months' journey east, William at last reaches his destination. The fabled land of gold, Sipangu. But what he finds there are monsters and death. And death! Kuroshima is a tiny island off the coast of Usuki in Kyushu's Bungo province. There is little in the bungo bungo parties. There is little in the way of usable land, with the coastline rapidly leaving away to cliffs and mountains. Clinging to its edge is the smallest of fishing villages, its residents eking out subsistence farming on plots carved out from the hills. Their frugal lives stand in stark contrast to the village elder, whose opulent mansion perches atop the island's tallest peak, strangely oversized for the small island which it overlooks. Bunga Bunga. You are generically handsome. Oh, there's a leech. I'd like it if this this got guy spoke like he was from Cornwall or something like that. I'm a sailor, right? I'm a sailor. I'm a sailor, Roy. I've come in here. Got his cider. April 1600. Usuki. <laughs> Maybe I should just, if I do a let's play, just do the whole, the whole game in that voice. Let's take the start menu. Equipment. Melee weapon 2. What's melee weapon 1? They're the same thing. Okay. Oh! That's interesting, he can't take out his, um... Jinsu no chikara aru mo ayo. Sono mi ni 
慈しみを欲するならばそこなやしろにモデルがよい Visit the shrine and say a prayer. I think we need to put the, the speech up because it's quite. It sounds decent. Okay. Hello. Right there. I got to say a prayer. Okay, you are. I'll do it now then. Dear. <laughs> Dear mum. Please look after me. As I travel to this heathen land. Change guardian spirit. Huh? Change the current guardian spirit. Make offering. Summon visitor. Okay. I'm connecting to summon a visitor. Make offering. I got sac I got sacred salt. Okay. Invoke visitor. So I'm guessing this will. Okay, in the real game, this is going to call another human being in. But let's let's not do this. Let's try something else. Let's try changing our guardian spirit. What does this do? Kato. Uh, Wink says, "Have I checked out Space Beast Terror Fright?" No, but that either sounds like some kind of Japanese pornography or a sci-fi game. What is Space Beast Terror Fright? usage minus 15% we'll try Daiga Daiga Washi and uh, we'll try to level can we level up body heart stamina stamina is key no I can't actually level that up. It's an FPS roguelike like aliens. Oh, that sounds interesting. What uh, what platform is that? affiliated but feels like it okay oh, oh my god yeah anytime you want to draw your sword this guy's not drawing a sword oh, fuck. Hold on. Oh. Oh, he killed me. So it's like Dark Souls, you can't... Oh, it's on Steam. Space... Yeah, okay, cool. I don't have a PC. That I have a Mac, unfortunately. Um, it's early access, but feels pretty feature complete, unless they were playing some kind of story. So what is it? Is it um, a first person or third person or a top down or or what? Okay. I want to know how I equip this. Now it works for some reason. I like the glint on his sword. Oh, what's this? First person. And is it stylized kind of is is it meant to look realistic or is it that kind of indie stylized style that means they can get away with everything being a bit cartoony and 
not as much effort put into it. I mean effort, but you know what I'm trying to say. Oh my god, what's this fucker? Oh! Space Hulk. I'm actually interested in the Space Hulk Deathwing first person game, uh, which is coming out on PS4 and PC. I don't know if it's coming out on Xbox. But I rent. I put it on my rental queue for Xbox and PS4. Um, Oh my god! You enter a ship station access data course to shut down the reactor coolant and escape to the airlock to blow the ship. All the while xenomorphs are trying to kill you. I really like the idea of PC gaming but it is still not simple enough um, and it, it seems to me like every almost every few weeks there'll be uh, an article on Eurogamer saying test is this the hottest graphics card you can get? How how many frames per second per second does it give you? And uh, I don't know how people keep up with it. I just don't know. Um, maybe if I could plug my games into television easily. Ah, uh, you can so you all this is edited by lasers, by sentry turrets and laser doors. They break through regular doors. So have you played this, or wink, or are you? you just excited by the look of it. Oh, I invoked the visitor favorites. I don't I don't know how to say anything. I don't know how to say to this say anything to this man, but I'd like to Oh Sorry, hold on Wink. I had I actually found a way to sorry, let me just see what you're saying, Wink. Um He's been playing it every chance he gets since bought it last week. 
10 hours so far, all single player. There's four player co op. That sounds interesting. Um, hold on. Let me just uh, say thank you to this person. Yeah. Let's see if I can help this guy. Do you, do you play on a monitor or do you have your PC set up in kind of a, a sitting room sofa situation? It's a bit silly that I have to... I have to... I have to draw my sword, I can't go straight into a stun. You can even do it split screen cup for four players. He uses his 22 inch monitor, keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I don't have a... I don't have, um... I don't have a, a place I can I can do that easily. Um, unfortunately. Okay, so this is Dark... this is Samurai Souls. If you will. Um... I don't know, I know, I, I've no, I, but it's been a long time since I've tried to play a PC oh. game. It has been, um, probably 2010 since I tried to play a PC game with other people and, um, I don't know. It just always—it just seems such a pain in the ass getting, trying to get everything working, and then my computer never seemed powerful enough. And oh, I cut his leg off. If you had a long enough cable to move the PC, it could lug up to his 46-inch TV. That's the thing. Um, I, I, I just don't. I associate computers with office rooms and. Unless you have a, you know, the houses in America and Canada are much, much bigger than in the UK. So you have m rooms that we don't have and space that we don't have. So, you know, if you've got somewhere to retreat to, then fair enough. But sitting at a PC is not relaxing, I don't think, for me at least. Oh god damn it, this guy killed me. Okay. Let's see if we can get on without this guy. I don't know what the revenants are. Maybe he drops maybe he he drops um he drops uh Items.
Hold on, Wink, sorry. Oh, it got so close to killing him. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I would like a PC in some ways, because it does have a, a wider range of games. The games are cheaper, and you can get a much better stream quality with a PC rather than using the inbuilt Twitch app on PlayStation 4. Um, and I would also have a better microphone uh, to speak with, but it, the ease of use is still not there. The, the, the off-the-shelf nature of it is still not there. says his is an oldish PC GTX 770 i5 CPU again just that description because I'm so out of the loop it just seems horribly confusing to me the, the naming of the cards and the processors and the RAM and all that kind of jazz it's just it, it's totally consumer unfriendly and that's a problem that I think I don't think the PC industry needs to address it, but... Oh, sprint hold... I've got some different... I've got some different gear. What can I equip? Nothing? Uh, learn skills. Oh, I've got ninja skills. Omnio magic. We'll pick a katana skill because that's what we have. Okay. I like the way you can play a movie. Okay. They're up to 1080s. Yeah, the whole thing is. You know, the, I think the. The PC is losing ground, and I just wonder who the de demographic it is for people that are are, are playing PC games because it's not the mass market; it's not the the average punter. Okay, hold on. Let me get this guy. Trying to lure him this way. Oh, there's this blood on my sword. That's quite cool. Okay, let's go and get this guy. Processors and UI sevens. Yeah, the whole it's it's meaningless to me. Which unfortunately, it's it's Greek it, it, and and. and shame actually it is a shame that they haven't been able to sort that market out and there is not one I, I don't know if Dell is a good company but I kind of just want to go to an equivalent of Dell and say this is what I want and it will be able to play these games at this resolution and this speed and and that will be fine with me uh, but I don't know what that company is is it, is it Alienware 
He went. Wink said he went to his local PC shop and said, "I want to spend fifteen hundred. What can you do for me?" See, that's that's kind of when we last got a new PC um, in two thousand and seven, which doesn't work anymore. We went to an independent ind independent uh, supplier and. Uh, let me see if I can assign this. Okay. Alienware is the gaming arm of Dell. So, th the last time we had this PC made, it was basically top of the range. I didn't get a top of the range graphic card put in. Um, um, and it still couldn't play everything quite as well as I wanted it to. And then I had raid drives put in, and the raid drives failed. And it was all just a, a total pain in the ass. Uh, human item drop rate. Ah, uh, so the yokais are the demon. So there are. If I go to a, a red blood spot on the ground and, and get something, and Wink says Alienware is the gaming arm of Dell. If I go to a red blood spot, then I will pick up a demon. <laughs> ah, so the not so the big daddy is an is a human being. Am I playing? Am I playing? Oh my! Oh oh. Oh. Am I playing another human being or am I playing an AI version of a human being? <laughs> Sorry, Wink, hold on a second, buddy. We want to go to the right, don't we? Using my medicine makes me put my sword away. Cause that makes sense. Oh my god. And yeah, that's stupid. That's dumb. Sausage bugger. I don't know what a sausage bugger is, but he is one. And then other things I don't like about the PC is that, um, again, my experience is ten years old. But it was, oh, well, what, what voice comm system are we using? Oh no, this one doesn't have a very good quality. Can you get on this one? Oh, I can get on that one. What room are you in? Oh well, if you you have to search for room three five seven two in the Canadian section at three fifty two p.m. and you'll find me. And you think, what the fuck? Just, I want to hop into a game with people and play. weird so all the controls on this are like nothing's on the triggers as far as I can tell in, in, in the tutorial nothing's on the triggers so you're having to kind of do a crab claw to use anything and why is that just a Japanese game design thing where they make it shitty for people it's like a monster hunter on the PS4 on the on the Vita not the Vita, the PSP. I'm 
mean, I remember playing. This wasn't on my. Was this on my last PC? The one that doesn't work and the tower is in the corner of the room. Um, maybe it wasn't on that one, but I remember playing. Maybe it was Half Life 2. And getting to the. Like the uh, swamp boat section or whatever it is, or the jeep section. Maybe it was the jeep section. And the frame frame rate would just chug, and I had to kind of. I had. I role played the idea that Gordon couldn't see properly because of all the vibrations. And that's why the frame rate was so shitty. Wink said his PC is three years old, if not older, and wasn't even new then. So how do, so do you kind of have a, a baseline resolution or performance that w if it falls beneath this on the latest title, it then trade in? So if it can't do, for example, 720 at 50 frames per second or something like that, is that your mark for trade in? Or is it when it can't play a particular indie game or a simulation heavy game without chugging? Come on, fuckeroonie. Oh. You and your silly dyed hair. The sod. Get fucked. Did I. Oh, he's, I chopped his arm off and he's. Uh, oh, he's, he's lost his helmet. I mean, he's can pick his helmet up. Arm guards. Oh, we've got arm guards. Cool. Jingasa foot soldier. XCOM and armor 2 run okay. XCOM 2 and armor run okay. Uh. I mean, that's. Okay. So, as far as I remember, armor is like. Polygon the war, where it's all triangles and, and stick men running about. From what I can remember, compared to modern graphics. And XCOM 2 is, uh a turn-based game with tiny creatures, so they're not exactly graphically intensive. So that's not reassuring me. If you're working for the Canadian Association of PC Sellers, uh, you're not giving me a particularly good reason to jump into the game. Oh, 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 mother! Okay, low stance, low stance. And uh, run away, run away. Eat some, eat some food. Ah, oh, into oh, ah. But the defend button is left shoulder. Left shoulder, but naturally the defend button should be left trigger, not fucking left shoulder. And I'm sure you can adjust it. What's this? What's this stuff? I might rent this. I don't know what all of Am Amrita is. He doesn't do it. Wink says he doesn't do a, l a lot of current gen stuff. He doesn't like paying forty dollars for any game. And he says he turns off sh he turns off shadows, anti-aliasing, and anything else to improve the frame rate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I find the frame rate improves enormously if you can turn the monitor off and just have an audio cue only game. He bought Dark Souls 1 for five dollars. Um, hold on a second. There is a, a Reddit sub <laughs> sub forum called <laughs> called uh, Patient Gamers that you might like. I found a plant. Is that what's this thing? It's a little creature. Hello. Follow me. Escort mission. Is this an escort mission? I wonder how many people are going to prefer this to Dark Souls because it's it's Japan. And Japan's much cooler than medieval England. Okay, let's make Kadima blessing. 
I read that as an oral blessing. We'll accept the warrior blessing. Thank you very much, Kadima. Um, let's try changing our guardian spirit to... We're at a bird. We'll try Kato. Kato. So, th the best value game I think I've ever had. Oh, are they respawn? Okay. Oh, bugger. Demo disc with PlayStation magazine. I don't know when this was. 96, 97? And it was Tony Hawk's. The demo disc for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, the first one. And my mate and I played that constantly because he was living with me at the time. And um, we just took turns, and it was one level, uh, one tiny indoor ramp uh, set up. And we just took turns getting, uh, trying to get the, um, the high score. Sacred Water? Okay, we'll set as a shortcut for my Sacred Water. Ah, we have a stone. Okay. Let's see what, no, so why, why aren't there shortcuts there? I don't understand this fucking thing at all. Oh, we can learn a skill. What's this? I don't understand any of this. Okay, so I think we get... We get key. If I'm in, in a high stance and we do a key pulse... Ah, uh, yeah. So if we go... I don't know. Anyway, let's carry on. What's the best value game you've ever bought, Wink? So this is difficult, so it's not like um, the last Souls game I played, where people won't come back. Ah, uh, something here. That doesn't look as good for us. cut his head off. Holy shit. Can I chop the body up? Oh, that sounds a bit gruesome, doesn't it? If I go to low stance, can I just kick it in? No. No, you can't. And I think that's a wise decision. You shouldn't let sociopaths chop up bodies in video games. Disgusting. Wink says he has 1,200 hours in XCOM 1. So, when you say XCOM 1, do you mean... Um, hold on a second. What's the what's the number convention in XCOM games? Is that the one made by the Sid Meier people or whatever it is? The the the, the fancy 3D one? Or are you talking about the original XCOM? The most recent one. So that game actually fucked me off a bit because I bought it I got really excited everybody said it was amazing so I got it on an Xbox 360 and I got the 
because I reserved a copy, I got a special helmet or something. And they said exclusive content. I can hear a baby crying. Or it, no, it's a it's it's a crow. It's a crow that sounds like a baby. <laughs> Imagine if you had a baby that sounded like a chicken or something like that. You went to the doctor. There's a joke in there. <laughs> doctor, my baby sounds like a chicken. Well, you can get plucked. And he says the original enemy unknown and terror from the deep. Okay. So basically, I bought that game on 360, uh, and it said exclusive exclusive stuff for buying it early, and then they started selling the helmet, and I thought, hold on a second, is that, you know, why am I paying, why am I buying the game before release, so I'm taking a risk, and part of the reward for that risk is I'm getting this fancy stuff, and then you sell it, and that didn't set, is it, well, um, oh, And then, they announced DLC that allowed you to access a different weapon earlier in the game if you took certain game decisions, and I thought, hold on a second, this is, uh, this is Firaxis, you know, what are they going to do next? Are they going to uh, sell you microtransactions upgrades to tech trees in Civilization, for example? Well, I'm not. I don't really. That, I'm not sure about that. That really doesn't make me very happy. Um, but then they announced XCOM Enemy Without or Enemy Unknown or Enemy Mother-in-Law or whatever it is, the second one, and everybody said that was amazing. So, I, I'd already traded in the original game. I bought the game again, and uh, and then they announced the Xbox One. At least it's backwards compatible now. But I've hardly played it, so. I was I spent about sixty pounds on that game. Um, Wick says he played lots of Alpha Centauri, and the only Civ game he played, or that's the only Civ game he was ever interested in, was the Alpha Centauri one. Okay. I'm, I keep on forgetting to do my key, my key boost thing. Have you ever oh, a spear? Oh, what a minute, eh? Ah, so you can change range weapon. So you can carry two weapons. Uh, we'll try a spear. you have starts with this spear? Yeah, you do. Okay, that's interesting. Um, you played hours of Diablo 2 and the expansion. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Okay, we need to get into... This is the Battle of Thermopylae. Where one brave streamer takes on three Japanese NPCs. The Spartans, man. The Spartans were fucked up. Um, everybody knows that, like, they, they, children were basically, if they were deformed at all, they were just left to die. If they left weak, they were just left to die. And, um, I have to be careful. I don't go down. Um, and what's interesting is the women were, had quite a high status in, in ancient, ancient world, because they were expected to do physical training as well. 
um, which wasn't the norm for ancient Greece. In, in, in Athens, I think, women basically were supposed to be seen and not heard. And uh, they were supposed to go out and be totally covered up and not, you know, and there weren't allowed to be any portrayals of nudity or nakedness. And I think it was only when uh, ancient artists started doing kind of portrayals of Aphrodite, maybe this was in the Middle Ages, that that kind of idea changed. Um, and also, uh, the Spartans used to be able to go around and just murder... I think they had a group of people called Helots. Uh, I'll have a quick check now, excuse me. Excuse me, stream, while I type in Helot into Google. Helots were a subjugated population group that formed the main population of Laconia and Messenia, the territory co controlled by Sparta. So basically, Helots were like farm workers and slaves, and I think the Spartan soldiers and kids could just go and murder them if they wanted to. Oh, fuck it, let's go and kill a Helot. Um, and interestingly about the Battle of Thermopylae, I think that along with the 300 Spartans, there were a load of either helots or citizen soldiers there as well, which people people don't really talk about. <laughs> Let's try a high stance. Ah, oh, interesting. Oh, okay, so that's a spinning low stance. <laughs> I'm not sure about the spear around here, <laughs> so we'll change to a sword, because I don't want it to clang off the trees. been listening to an audiobook which is all about uh, the ancient world so kind of Minoans and ancient Greeks and Romans and Egyptians uh, and in interestingly the word desert I think is an ancient Egyptian word which was something like deshret which meant red red land or red soil but what's interesting about this, this audio book, this series of 45 minute lectures, about 30 of them, is that it goes into what life was like for the average person. Because there's that quote, history is written by the victims. And quite often, oh, take an axe. Quite often, history is about the victors, the great men. Um. Let's swap. Okay. <laughs> so this is literally about random, like the life of an ordinary punter, uh, and ordinary people, and slaves, and and um, I think there was a Greek philosopher. I can't remember who it was, um, but quite a famous one, I think, who described the slaves as property that breeds. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh god, that guy's... Oh, it's rolling down the hill. Um, going back to the idea of games that are good value, he wouldn't call EVE Online value, though he's played that for nearly six years. And he doesn't have much for his 360, but he did enjoy Bayonetta and the first two Batman games. I think the second Batman game probably up there with my favourite game ever. I think it's one of the best games I've ever played. And I rented it initially and I put 20 hours into it and then it, I got a bug. I lost all my saves. And I kind of got quite fucked off with it. Um, so I sent it back to the rental place. But then I waited for the Game of the Year edition. And I did my research before. When it, and Rita Gage is Okay, we'll try a living weapon. Um, and I did my research and it said, oh, this bug isn't totally fixed. We don't know if it's going to get fixed. And I bought it anyway. Even knowing that I could spend 40 hours in, t in, in the game in total and, and not finish it. 
I'm waiting for the new, not the new, the most recent Batman game with the tank to drop in price. Huh? Oh my god! Oh you fucker, what did he hit me with? Yeah, he bought the Platinum Edition for... Wink says he bought the Platinum Edition for $20. Yeah, it's a fantastic game. Uh, okay. Back to where we are. Okay, well, Wink, I've, I've got to go. That has been my hour. So this is the... What's it? The Nishi... Not, not Nishi Noshi. Neo. <laughs> Neo, or Nio. N-I-O-H. Uh, on PS4. This is the, the beta demo. And, um... It's Dark Souls with Samurais, I suppose. Uh, it, it seems to be pretty much the same sort of game, except maybe a bit more twitchy. Um, and obviously set in Japan. Um, but if you uh, want to subscribe... This is what people say, I don't know. I don't know what the Twitch etiquette is. If you like what you've seen so far, then please do subscribe. Um, our YouTube channel is where the Twitch videos go to retire. The channel is uh, hatchetjob.com, so hatchetjob, D-O-T-C-O-M. On Twitter, we're hatchetjob. On Twitch, obviously, we're hatchetjob. And our podcast is at hatchetjob.com. So, N Wink, it's been good chatting to you, but uh, I've been streaming for two hours, so it's time for me to take a break. And um, Neo is free to download at the moment, as this kind of beta on the PlayStation 4. So, go try it for yourself. Okay, thanks everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.